hello friends um, how are you doing so today i'll be starting a new uh, uh, series of video okay that is uh, partition creating partition on tables using in oracle database so knowing you how to uh, create a range partition uh, uh, how, how to create a range partition okay uh, on date field so uh, my approach my ex ex actual approach for this is rather than creating partition manually okay for uh, predicting range okay you can predict a range you can create partition range partition on any type of integer value okay you cannot create a range partition on any uh, string value but for integer value or date value you can create a create a range partition okay so my approach for this range partition is i'll create a partition and it will go on and on and on okay it will not stop or I don't have to create another condition or something like that. Okay, so that is the approach. So here, uh, see, I have a table called employee attendance. So if you see, there is no partition here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a clone this table, okay, uh, retrieve all the records of this. Uh, uh, employee attendance table and put into this new table clone table suppose its name is employee underscore attendance one so <laughs> employee attendance one so what i'm going to do i'm going to clone this table and i'll create a partition there is a field called attendance date att and date i'll suggest uh, create a partition on this date but by month so there will be on based on this date on every month there will be a partition on every month okay suppose there is a date range between first uh, january 2010 to first uh, 31st december 2020 so then for every month for january 2010 february 2010 march 2010 and so on so there will be 10 into the 10 into 12 partition to 40 partition if there is data till 2020 something like that okay so uh, I'm doing this uh, because uh, you cannot create a partition on an existing tab table with data. If there is a data in a table or in, or an existing table, so I have to create this partition in a new table. Okay, so first the syntax for this is create table. Uh, I'm using a different user to connect to this uh, so schema owner office. So create table office start employee attendance one. Fields are all the all same. Okay, so and here at last after I have created written the create table script, I went here and I put partition by range, ATT and date, this one. Make it more clear. Date and interval num2 y min num to y m okay interval one comma month so if you put it here year then the partition will be on year on the date if you put day that the partition will be on day but it, it depends on what type of wow i mean how many records are there each day how many records are there each month so if you see there are not much enough record on each day so it's uh, not worth creating a partition each day because there will be 365 partition in one year that is that will be not good so in the you have to do that if the uh, number of records becomes very large for each day so in that case in my case i'll create a partition on month okay then partition i'll just have to put an arbitrary partition that partition p0 value less than two date uh, i put a date here two date here two date 0101 2000 ddmm yyyy okay so i just put it into um, a date two date format instead of this you can also write this here i'm just not changing this right now 01 chan to 010 okay you can do this so partition p0 value less than and what should be this value this should be a value which will not exist or which will be 
greater than equal to uh, sorry, sorry less than equal to this debt and if your attendance either it must not exist in the database this debt or it should be equal to not greater than okay it should be less than why because if it is less than this partition will be created with this date after that if it gets any date which is greater than 1st january 2000 okay suppose it get a date 01 feb 2013 so that is greater than 1st january 2000 so one new partition will be created then it gets 01 march 2013 another partition will be created okay so I mean it can be not 01 it can be 01 it can be 21 it can be 23 any date because it is a month by partition it is partition by month okay so went on any date which is greater than 1st January 2000 uh, for a particular month a date a partition will be created any date okay to put any date first February a partition will be created but if you put if it comes another date 23rd February 2013 then no partition will be created because a partition is already created for the month of February okay so this is done so I'll just create this script I think yeah create it I will run the insert script which will actually clone it from the employee attendance table which is an existing table it will take some time okay so yeah it is done commit now let us okay i think we have yeah commit now let us go here and open this one go to the partition can you see the partition it is partition by month okay e partition for each month so there are total 37 months are there for 37 months there are 37 partition okay now let us do one thing we will again drop this table drop table start employee this one now what we will do we will make it year okay and again execute it rest is fine yes I make it yearly partition okay now again I will insert the data done commit let us go again partition we have only one two three four five partition five years five partition 2000 one partition is created already it does not has any data then two then three then four okay we have one another data why we have two partition for 2010 because I think there is data this data which is because the date is greater than 1st January 2000 okay no no sorry this is 2010 I'm sorry I, I'm just over 2000 then rest of the we have five partitions okay so we have make a yearly partition we have make a daily partition monthly partition so I'll not go by you can try yourself for daily but see this is P0 can you see you can try for daily partition okay uh, just put here day instead of month or year so you will get a daily partition 
for each attendance date and each date, whatever date you are using. So this is the first part of the partition. Next part, we will come with, up with a sub partition. So we will see how sub partition is created and what exactly the sub partition do. Okay, sub partition is nothing. If you uh, deal with a very very huge table, suppose uh, suppose this employee table is very huge. Now what we will do? We will for every month, every year, <coughs> just split up the partition into employee ID or department ID or section ID. For every year, create a sub partition in section ID. So I'll come up with this tutorial um, in my next video, but I will show how to create a sub partition on the partition. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you like it, please press the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Good night.